Hey guys, it's your time for the next tutorial. Today we're going to look into the assembly line from Pneumatic Craft specifically for SevTech Ages, but even if you are not in the SevTech Ages mod, this could potentially help you. We are going to go ahead and we're going to get right into it. There are certain things that you need, but basically you're going to need an import and an output and an export assembly IO unit for every time you're going to do this and you're going to need the assembly platform you're going to need the air compressor you're going to need the assembly controller you're going to need a chest you're going to need to fuel the air compressor you do not need pressure tubes and then you're going to need either a drill or a laser sometimes you may need both depending on what you are doing and i forgot the coal don't shoot me first thing we're going to do we're going to place down our block next to the block we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an import by changing it to import, we take a pneumatic wrench and we right click. Beside that, we're going to put an export. It is important that your import and export are always adjacent to the chest. Otherwise, your setup is not going to work. We're now going to take an assembly controller. We're going to go ahead and put this right here. It doesn't really matter where we put it as long as it's touching somewhere in the line. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the air pressure going. I'll go ahead and put that there. I'm going to put this there. And you know what else we need? We need a security upgrade. I strongly advise you use the security upgrade um, so that this doesn't blow up. I mean, it, it won't blow everything up, uh, but even, even, even still, you don't want to have to keep rebuilding this thing because you might be here for a minute. Anyhow, the assembly controller itself, um, as you can see, it's only going to work in the three and a half to five range. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, this already will stop at five so you won't have a problem with it blowing up this tells you what the problems are uh first of all we need an assembly program we're going to do a drill right here we'll do the assembly drill we're gonna put this one right here once you put the program in all of a sudden that will change we don't have the pressure we're missing a few things but we're gonna get there Right now, what we're looking at is we're going to be looking at the Inscriber Silicon Press. This tells you what you need to make it. Tells you the assembly program drill, which is what we just put in there. We need a drill, and we need the export, and we need the import um, uh, things. And then we need an assembly platform. Now, the way this guy works, the assembly platform has to be adjacent to both of the export and the import, and whatever machine you're going to, whoops, and whatever machine you're going to use. This drill can technically be anywhere on any of these five blocks touching, touching this guy right here. And you might as well throw a laser on it while you're here. Uh, for now, that's not going to be necessary, uh, but it doesn't hurt to have it anyway. As it's, as you, it, it's not even necessary for this, this program. You're never going to use it for the assembly program drill, uh, but it's good to note that you have it anyway. Uh, you can add an additional pressure chamber to this device here like a so however it won't make any difference and that just reset my pressure but that's okay it won't make any difference it will not speed it up uh, that's not how this works so with that said uh while this is building up the juice let's go ahead and well let's take a look first um this this machine is smart enough to know which one uh you're doing so we could sit there and we could put in all three of these items and get what we want. But we're just going to go ahead and do the biotite. A block of biotite. All you're going to do is put it in here. Now nothing's going to happen until we get to at least three and a half, which we're very close to right now. Um, but we'll go ahead and continue to talk uh, while we do that. What's cool about it is the standby thing uh, kind, of, kind of walks around with you. Um, I... I wanted to do a tutorial on this because the first time i had to do this assembly line it was very confusing to me there we go we have the power uh so i wanted to go ahead and do it so that everybody can uh anybody else that's having trouble can go ahead and have this because i there were when i had trouble with this there was not a tutorial that that just showed me exactly how to do this so that's going to take it from the box it's going to place it on the thing this drills down and turn around yeah, man. Very slowly, I do wish you could speed it up, but I'm telling you, adding an additional air compressor is not going to help. There we go. Gonna do its drilling. 
And it, like I said, it can be on any of these blocks. It could be where the laser is. It could be on any three of these. Uh, it just has to be adjacent to this or else it cannot reach and it will not work. Once that's done, this guy right here is going to grab it. El Importo. See, that's the security upgrade, letting the extra air out. He's going to grab it, and he's going to put it right in the chest. Eventually. Right, it's because I opened the chest. There he is, the Scriber Silicon Press. Now... If we were, like I said, it, it automatically knows. So if I was to do a per 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 block in the right inventory, it automatically knows and it will grab it. Now, if we were to look at something more advanced, advanced, like uh, this advanced pressure tube, as you can see, um, it can either be very expensive or it can be cheap. If you get the drill and laser program, you can just use one block of compressed iron as opposed to 20 pressure chamber valves, which we don't want to have to do that. Uh, we want to just do the one block of things. So we go ahead and, and uh, as I typically do with my tutorials, I don't like to mess around with showing you guys the crafting. I mean, if you can't figure out how to do the crafting, come on, come on, you can figure out how to craft these things. Uh, if you're playing Septic Ages, you get most of these things just by using the Amazon tablet. Um, and that that's very simple to do. Once this is done, we will upgrade the program. Which is very soon. And there you have it. Piece of cake. Let me turn this thing off. I signal. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Just let it go. Let's change the program. Let's put in our block of compressed iron. And... Bam, we're ready to go. It's gonna go ahead and make this. And this one's kind of cool because it's gonna do both of these guys. You'll see in a second. Won't you? Yes, you will. Took a second, but there it goes. A very interesting mod, uh, Pneumatic Craft. I'm actually not sure what other mod packs use this aside from Sevtec Ages. Um, but and that's a part of the reason too why I don't show crafting and stuff because that's gonna change based on your mod pack uh, And so I don't see a need to, to go over all of those different things oh, That's kind of cool So it actually drills it into the pressure chambers. Oh, that's interesting It's kind of interesting how they're stacked like that, too. I've actually never held, had a need to make the advanced pressure, but it felt like the right thing to do. And laser. There it goes. Pretty cool, huh? Check it out. We are almost done here. If you've stuck around long enough to make it this far, um, even though I've already pretty much showed how to make this thing work, but you most people have already left. If you are still there, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I do a lot of stuff like this. I do a lot of Minecraft Let's Plays. I also uh, would love it if you hit that like button. And if you have a question about anything, something that you would like for me to do a tutorial on, uh, I will be happy to do it. Be happy to do it. Uh, that is going to do it for this tutorial hopefully i was able to help somebody else out uh help somebody out uh, i remember i struggled a lot with this when i first had to do this uh so hopefully you will not have to thank you guys so very much for watching and as always take it easy